a bum broken ankle, so I can't really ride this thing. But been playing with the ECU some more. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna start this up with normal OEM map, let it warm up because it's all snowy and cold outside, and then we're gonna try my switch which switches over to a secondary map within the ECU and watch that on the diags. So that said, let's see how OEM starts up. And this should be set, I put it at 14.2 AFR, so it's a little different than stock. It's not 100% stock. Anyway, let's see how it starts on this cold ass day. It is below freezing today, so yeah. I've wired this in there's some additional wiring under my seat all I have to do flick that switch before I crank the bike and this other map is active so now I have my new map active I can see it active in my diagnostics and I'm gonna start the bike now let's watch things see what happens so my AFR went to 14 which is where the open loop map is set Bye. 
wired in to get the other map back to. Uh, at this time, we haven't figured out haven't figured out how to get this other map active without a switch or without the additional stuff connected in under the seat. But it's really cool stuff. The fact that you can have two ECU maps on these ECUs and change it really simple. And the secondary map changes your fueling, has uh, entirely different spark tables, different parameters for like acceleration and wrench, different parameters for cooling. So it is really neat to be able to do this. And I'm excited to be able to ride. Just gotta fix this thing. So hopefully four to six more weeks to be back on this. He'll test it.